different vibe on this side. Definitely, a lot more chill. But I mean, they've got their guy over there, or at least he's coming, so it would make sense. Um, they have free water. Do they have free water? Right there. And food, they said. Yeah. Is it I, free, though? I don't know. I might become a different guy. About the healthcare reform. I think yeah. they need to understand that I know there's a lot of worry about healthcare rationing. Um, so people don't seem to get don't it. Don't forget to go get water. Don't instead forget of being to go get apples on and granola bars. And the kind Thank of care you for being here to welcome President Obama. Whether or not you can pay, whether Thank or not you, you can afford here. benefits, whether or not your insurance company decides that your procedure is necessary. And it's completely, it's completely subjective and it doesn't take care of the people who need it. And under this plan, there aren't going to be death squads and, you know, grandma's not going to be shoved under a truck or thrown off a bridge. It's just going to be, um, it's going to be more difficult to get procedures that are less necessary. But on the other hand, Cassidy would be insured, I would be insured, my children would be insured, my, my, our, our good friend who's a single mom and couldn't get health insurance because she had a, you know, a pre-existing condition which was a pregnancy, she would have insurance and so would her son. And that's very important for people to understand. Right now, we have a system which makes it almost impossible to receive health care. We need to have the public option which lowers costs and gives us a choice. The times of living under the uh, our way or the highway mentality of the health insurance industry are over. We finally have a president in this country and we need to support our congressmen to have the political will to free us from the tyranny of the health insurance industry. I'm all for single payer health care, basically. Yeah. I like Canadian style, whatever. I don't think we should be making money. Corporations shouldn't make lots of money off the sick and dying people. So would you, you would be for the government just taking over health care in general? I think it shouldn't be a, a commodity like pork bellies. Chickens, you know, yeah, but I mean, would you be? Dying people should they shouldn't make money out of sick dying people. So you would be for the just destruction of insurance companies? Well, I don't know how they can possibly do it. This is America. I just right. think it's wrong, morally wrong. Yeah. That they're making all this money out of sick and dying people, and I've always felt that way. <laughs> We're the only civilized country in the world that does that. It should be uh, poorest person in this, in this country should have the same health care as the richest. Do we want one out of every three of our health insurance dollars to go to CEO compensation? No! Do we want one out of every three of our health insurance dollars to go to marketing? Do we want one out of every three of our health insurance dollars to go to bus tours against reform? <laughs> That's what I thought. The answer is no, we don't. We want a system which offers us choices. We want a system that we can actually afford for once. We are tired of $400 billion a 
year going to administrative costs. Those are costs that have everything to do with the frills of uh, excess and nothing to do with health care. I'm just glad to see the government trying to spend money on something that heals people as opposed to kill people. Right. You know, like the last eight years, we spent hundreds of billions on a death machine, and they're protesting against the machine that's going to be bring life and health and things for the citizens of this country. I think it's about time. It's a good thing. Maybe even do something like get really good, organic, healthy soil, you know, and overhaul why we're so unhealthy. What's your stance on the war in Afghanistan then? Because Obama's full, uh, like trying to actually I'm increase troops. I'm war no matter what. This is 2009. I feel that this country and the world wants peace. And any government spending money on weapons of war is screwing up. It should be it should be something simple like I hate like like bread not bombs, but I think we can heal problems better. Like Obama's trying to talk to them instead of threatening world leaders, you know, like I think that's you way think you better. can talk to the Taliban? No, not at this point. They've been invaded by three world powers, by the Brits, by the Russians, now by us. When somebody's been beat up generation after generation after generation, that installs a hatred that killing for another generation is not going to solve. Yeah. yeah, it's ridiculous that it ever went that way. So what would you do in Afghanistan? Good question. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's a good question. I'm not saying I have a lot of answers. No, no I... You, you have to right. observe. Yeah, that's what we're doing. Thank you so much for talking to us. My name's Ronnie Likes. How you doing, Ronnie? Yeah. Nice to meet you, sir. All right. Well, I like your little incognito setup you got going here. Oh, <laughs> it's not incognito. It's just really our setup. <laughs> yeah, right. That's a health insurance industry that spends one out of every three of your dollars on administrative costs. One out of three dollars goes towards something besides health care. They're using one out of every three of your dollars to lobby Congress. Is that what we want? Do we want one of every three of our health insurance dollars to go to lobbying Congress? No. no.